Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel And of course we're going to be talking about Giselle Bryant and Peter Thomas And whether they had an affair or they had a relationship Even though Giselle's supposed to be good friends with Cynthia We just see how it goes We have an article written up by page 6 Evan Real got it together for us and he titled it Giselle Bryant why I would never date Cynthia Bayless ex Peter Thomas well baby girl we can say we can say you're not time because he ain't got no money and he's always trying to borrow money from you so that should just turn anybody off but I'm pretty sure she's saying something a little bit more nicer and a little bit more plainer for the average person who's sitting in the back of the house. Don't have a clue. Even they can get it. It won't even go over their head. So, and let's see what we got here. Let's get to narrating and we'll make uh, comments here and there. And towards the end of the video, I will be asking you all to weigh in on our subject topic for tonight. Okay, get right on into it. It says, Giselle Bryant wants to clear up any word on the street about her alleged involvement with Peter Thomas. And I'm telling you, honey, it is very extremely enlarged. Okay, no nobody who want to mess with uh, Peter because he's always borrowing money, already turning nothing with something into nothing when it comes to bar one. He's constantly in the news about mismanaging money meaning he's doing other things with the money instead of paying his employees and the bills that's over there in bar one even cynthia had to forgive a debt or a loan that she gave to peter because she knows she wasn't never gonna get that money back she knew it she knew it she knew it she knew it and probably no way or probably said cut him some slack cut him some slack let him be forgiven let him not have to pay for the money that he did get from you and he said it was a loan just let him be mom just let him be you happy he happy let's just let it go or at least that's how i thought that the situation went but anyway going back to the article it says the real housewives of platonic star 52 tells page six in an exclusive interview why she would never date the ex-husband of her good pal cynthia bailey despite romance rumors that play out on the next installment of the bravo reality show I know Cynthia. I love Cynthia. I went to Cynthia's wedding to Mike Hill. Bryant says of her relationship with the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum, 55. So this was just like weird. Well, it could have been plausible now. It could have been plausible that you could have been messing with Peter, but you really want to keep that on the hush hush. But I guess in retrospect, looking at, thinking about, the infractions Peter made on several women, you would be wise to bow out gracefully and not uh, put him in your life for as a relationship, okay? And not even an intimate one. But going back, it says when speculation began swirling that Bryant and Thomas were an item, 
the reasonably shady podcast host says she immediately called Baylor to clarify that nothing was going on. And really, I don't even understood why you had to call Cynthia. Because Cynthia knows how rumors get started in these YouTube streets, in the social media streets. She knows the game very well. So, to me, maybe you felt some kind of way or you felt guilty maybe because you was a little bit a little bit flirtatious with Peter and you were feeling him or something to that nature because I don't understand why would you bother Cynthia about Peter Thomas when she's married to Mike Hill. I mean, come on, let's take a flashback break. She's happy with Mike than she ever was with bruh man over there, which I'll call him, um, Peter Thomas. But I call him bruh man over here because he looked like he needed to be on the fifth floor <laughs> somewhere while he keep getting all this, you know, money going, not paying his bills and his payroll and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, Peter, I tell you. A great man of giving ideas of what would probably work for us on extra revenue stream. But to enact it for him to be there every day, for him to be trying to do the books, huh, it's kind of, it is kind of trying. We're going back to the article. It says, I wanted her to know because I know how this housewives thing is. If there's a rumor that I'm dating Peter, she's doing press for other things she's going to be asked. And I wanted her to be able to tell the truth, which was, I am not dating Peter, she recounts. I don't know, aren't you a good friend? Giselle, you would think they would be talking to you about messing with Peter because Cynthia, from the last time I heard and the last time you said she's taken, she's with Mike Hill. Why would she even answer or give the thought that she would answer to a question that was brought up about her ex? Child, please. You, you're kind of making me think you had a little something, something going on now, girl. You try, you're trying to try me here. Oh, but anyway, let's get on through this uh, narration of this article that was written up. She said, Brian asked that Baylor was unbothered by the gossip and even encouraged her pal to explore a relationship with the restaurant tour. She was like, girl, you could do, wait a minute, she said, girl, you could do you. I don't care what you do. Like, if you want to date him, have at it, Brian says. And I was like, no, no shade to Peter Thomas, but no. So, to me, in that little, uh, narr- that, when those words I just read you, it seems to me like, uh, Cynthia was telling her, baby, I got my man. I don't need to worry about him. And Giselle, why you running to try to tell Cynthia about somebody that she don't mess with no more, don't have no kids by. What what was the end game? That's what I want to know. What was the end game when you hurried up trying to tell Cynthia what you doing and what she's not doing with her ex? Mm-hmm. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, about, I don't know about you, Giselle. But going back to the article, it says Thomas, who appeared on the Real Housewives of Atlanta with Bailey prior to their 2016 split, made his way onto Potomac via Dr. Wendy Asifo. The professor and political commentator, 38, is working on becoming a Nigerian lounge with the Bar One founder. Bryant says she was not mad at it. Thomas filming with the uh, Maryland girls. You know Peter Thomas is good TV. Let's just start there. I've known Peter for a very long time, she says, before reiterating that I never dated him, never kissed him, never held hands with him. I would not be dating him. Peter and I are just friends. So the mom of three who shared teenage daughter Grace Adore and Angel with her husband Jamal Bryant claims that whole thing was just to start it got started by one of the ladies on the show to deflect from their own associations with thomas yes somebody needed to deflect from themselves and peter she says without naming housewives in question so they immediately put it on me i'm the single girl to cease to believe i know peter i've been out not with him but i've been out and he's been at places i've been we have pictures together all of that Brian elaborates, it was easy to believe, but it was not 
She said it was easy to believe, but it was a deflection. Well, baby girl, who was deflecting? Who was deflecting? I want to know. I'm like an owl. Who? 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 Okay. Going back to the article, it says, Though Candace Dillard brings up the rumor, uh, brings up the rumor in the Real Housewives of Potomac Season 7 trailer, Brian confirms that her noted frenemy isn't behind the hearsay. She is not the only one who started it. I was like, just like, yo, we shutting this down now. Like, absolutely not. I'm calling Cynthia. She says, teasing an explosive scene for which Thomas was seemingly present. I mean, it was a thing. So, she's saying it was a thing. Cynthia's saying she don't give a hell of a beans what you do with her ex-husband. It's a, He's off her back, okay, in her uh, payroll. She's not giving him any more money so he can flirt. He can take the bed, wine and dine all he wants because she ain't got no time for his behind no more. So, that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all get down in those comments and y'all tell me what y'all thought about this uh, saying that Giselle Bryant was fooling around on the side with Peter Thomas. I mean, woo, child. It would be best for her to fool around with somebody a little bit more richer and have a stable income plus money in the bank. But why don't we let you listen to uh, some video here, some audio I meant to say. Maybe we can get it to go. I'm not really sure, but we would try. We would try. Let's see what this open up. It doesn't look like it's going to open for me, guys. But she pretty much was defending the fact that um, she was just out with um, Peter. And he was in the vicinity. And they hooked up that way. But it was with a lot of other people that were there. And everybody was just mixing and mingling. So it really wasn't anything to really say. Uh, that somebody was seeing somebody or somebody was uh, getting beside themselves and dating, you know. Um, well, she's not a she's not a castmate, but she's still a part of the franchise. Franchise. And she has uh, been around Cynthia several times, and she says Cynthia has great company, you know. So she don't want anybody to be saying anything about her ex or that she's trying to date her exes, because all of us got exes. Uh, I don't know if you want to date the same person that's in your circle that was dating somebody else in your circle. That could be kind of awkward, but uh, not unheard of, though. Not unheard of. So, that's pretty much it that I have since my audio is not working for some strange reason. <sighs> I never want to work when I want to uh, give y'all some other context about the article. But that's okay. I will see y'all on the next video. And y'all be good to each other. And make sure you subscribe. Like my videos now. Come on guys. I need y'all to support the channel. And it's free. Okay. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye bye.